Hello, everybody. We're starting. Oh, excuse me. We're starting our second episode. Second session, I guess you could say. Of ASMR. Good night. So, to begin with, I ask that you only do a few things before we begin. The first thing that we always do when we start these We just take a moment to get ourselves in a comfortable position. A position that you can stay in for just a little while. Something that will help you relax, take it easy, and not worry about the world around you. Or The world you're trying to presently take some time from. So, the first step is sitting somewhere or finding some place that is very comfortable, either laying on your back, sitting in an upright and dignified position, or even standing if that's what you'd like to do. Either way, there's no wrong answer. As long as you're comfortable, you can go in whatever position you'd like. As usual, we start today in our normal setting on the beach. But before we go there, let's think a little bit about what we're doing right now. Right now is a special time, a time where it's not about other people or about our chores, our job, or anything really. Right now is about us. It is about relaxation. It is about not doing anything being in a mode of not doing. And that's a good place for us to be. It's a place that we need to take every now and again. Every now and again, just a little bit. So I invite you to lie down, get all comfy and snuggled up. And relax for just a little bit with me. Turn down the lights and we'll start. Take a breath in through your nose and let it out through your mouth. Do a few more into the nose and out through the mouth and keep it up but don't stop now when we're on the beach we think about a few things first with our eyes closed we consider what time it is today it's midnight We've had a long, stressful day. We've been up for who knows how long. 
fighting our fight, winning whatever battles have been before us. The moon isn't out right now, it's too cloudy. So the beach is nice and dark. Nice and dark and secluded just for us. We walk quietly along the pink grains. Every tiny little pebble of sand. Smaller and finer than salt. And when our feet get caught inside of it during our steps, it sticks to our skin. It's almost soft and smooth, and it glistens and reflects the small amounts of light still in the air. It makes our way almost sparkle, just with a hint of blue. I think that's when we realize that we're dreaming. We realize that we're just quietly relaxing, quietly stepping on the beach. coming in from the ocean. We've been here before. We know this feeling. We see the waves coming toward us. They crash and mellow. They ebb and flow. Wane and wax. They're gentle at first. When they pull back, they get high, and then they get low. The hypnotic nature of this phenomenon naturally removes our thoughts from our day. It places them on something else. Something a little more calming. Before us is a vast ocean. A body of water that we cannot completely fathom the size of. And in that water, in that water there is experience. There is emotion, thoughts and feelings. The things we carry with us throughout our day are heavy, heavy like padded, lead-lined clothing. A part of us wants to return to the ocean just for a little bit. Because we know how warm the water can be. We know how soft, how relaxing, How gentle and kind it can be. And so we start by putting down that weight right there in the sand next to us. Whatever it is, it might be an actual weight made out of metal maybe a briefcase with all your important documents and all of your tasks for the day or it may be a purse this box of thoughts and feelings it doesn't belong with us right now it belongs far far away far away 
close enough that we can grab it if we need to, but far enough away that we don't need to think about it, at least not for a while. And so we set it down. We let it make its indentation in the sand. We take a step forward onto the line, the wet line that separates the beach from the waves. The high tide encroaches on it every now and again. The natural motions of the water eventually reach the spot. But for now it's still drying up. So we sent foot into the wet sand. The grains are so fine that when we stoop down and lean back onto our butt, it almost feels like a cushion beneath us. It molds to our shape, perfectly fitting our form as we lean back, lean into a sleeping position. careful, very, very careful about how we move, about what we do. The waves are moving closer, close enough that we can hear them skidding across the sand. Right next to our feet, just a few inches away. With our weight behind us, hang on. With our weight behind us, sitting there on the beach, laying back in the sand. We find ourselves in that position we are in in real life, that relaxed place. And while we lay there, We hear the sounds of the earth moving around us. The sounds of animals in the distance. The sounds of weather and wind. The sounds of fish in the sea. The sounds of the ocean ahead of us. The tide picks up. It picks up and starts to gently lap against the bottoms of our feet. It's getting closer and soon that water that isn't even slightly cold, that's warm, more like a hot tub. It starts pressing, bending around our ankles, our lower leg. The sand gets pulled back with it, and we shift ever so slightly toward the beach's end, where the water starts. And all we need to do in this moment is breathe. We don't need to be anywhere else or do anything else. Just breathe in and out. It's a simple thing. 
but we can take it for granted sometimes. Some people are annoying or frustrating when they remember they have to breathe to control their breath. But it's not such a bad thing. Because when you remember you have to breathe, you remember that you are in control of things like your heart rate, your mood. And that's a good thing. And so we take this moment to control our breath just a little bit. To find that balance. And when the wave hits you and goes up the bottom of your knee against your upper thigh and your hip, when it drags us a little bit closer, it pulls back and we ready ourselves for the next wave. It's been a long day, but the last thought that we have about our day is behind us, at the wayside, where we really want to be, the place we're trying to get to, it's out there in the deep blue, a hole ocean just for us and we can't even imagine everything everything in our lives waiting to be plucked out and thought about and seen and when you're in this position you will think about things things that happened things that are happening things that are going to happen hopes and dreams, wishes, maybe even regrets. But that's okay. This is a time when you can regret and think and ponder and wonder as much as you'd like to. And nobody's gonna stop you. Nobody's gonna change what you're doing because there's no wrong thing to do. When the wave pulls up, this time moving past your hips, some of the water splashing, splashing on your knees and on your belly button, we get pulled even closer, closer to the water's edge. So close that the waves are already on top of us for the next pull towards that place we long to go. And so when that wave comes down, it covers us almost completely over our chest and shoulders, splashing on our eyebrows and nose. And it pulls us, pulls us out out into the ocean. And before we know it, we're back again. Back drifting, slowly. The waves moving around us. We bob and dance on the water like a log or a plank of wood, being pulled. It's as gentle as the ocean can be. In that gentleness, the warm, comforting, smooth motion of the up and down, side to side. It 
It's so soft. It's unbelievably soft. It's almost like floating. And so we do that. We slip further and further into that warm water. And soon, soon the waves crashing down on the beach. Soon they fade away. Fade away and into the background. And we're left with just the beach in the distance. Bidding us farewell for now. And when it does bid us farewell, we know that we'll be back soon. But for the moment, we're slipping away into the comfort of this great, great nurturing nature. Waves in the distance, quiet now, like a low roar. The sea tipping water scooping and dropping and we're in the middle of it our body is the flotation device and we're riding on the surface the surface of so many things and you have to wonder what kinds of memories places thoughts and feelings what exists down there in the water below us we can feel it though what's lying down there it's that positivity that wholesomeness that every human has it's humanity. It's another face. A face of ourselves, a side that we might not see as often as we'd like to. But when we do see it, when we do find it, it can change our life one step at a time. And so when we finally lock eyes with it in our mind, when we finally pull ourselves to that moment, we think about another time in our life that has been peaceful. We think about when we've fallen asleep in nature are simply safe with someone we trust. And it's so hard to find those things these days. So when we do find them, when we do cultivate that thing that we seek most, we know it's a amazing, powerful thing. And so, when it does blossom, this gorgeous, magnificent thought, the light of that thought shines from beneath us 
it shines and brightens the sky and the clouds. It brightens so much. So much that the light starts to pull on us, pull us down. And slowly we dip beneath the surface into the warm, warm water. And when our head finally goes under, we see our bubbles rising from our mouth and body. We see a world, a new one before us, underneath us, waiting for us to join it. The interstice between us and this world it's a wondrous place, filled with light, with positivity, the threads of a new world, the threads of a new reality, they beckon us closer and closer. And we slip closer and closer towards this new world. We feel our breath still strong. As we get pulled further and further towards this light, we see all sorts of life follows us down there. And the radiant, radiant warmth. It overwhelms us. It flows through us. And in that moment, we breach through the light. And we move someplace else through the interstice. When we cross that threshold, we move to the other side. We see a field of fireflies and white flowers far, far away. It feels like an eternity from here. But we see it in the distance. It's quiet. But we're still under the water but not completely. Now we're halfway to something else. That over halfway moment, over the hump, pulls us closer and closer to where we can see that field of flowers. Our breath, our breath holds us there, just a moment away from reaching this new place. moment that we transcend 
the moment we reach our destination. We breach once again, but it's a subtle thing. It's a small thing. And when we cross that barrier, it's an instant that it happens. But suddenly we're there. Suddenly we're in the middle of this field. And we can hear it, the sounds of animals, the sounds of soft voices. And the soft trickling of warm rain on our faces. What do the flowers smell like to you? As you lay there, calm and quiet, surrounded by these bioluminescent, beautiful flowers, these ornate plants. You just lay there while the songs and softness of the world that you're in is a lullaby for you. And you focus on your breath. Breathing in that warm rain landing across your body, the droplets soaking that positivity, that strength. The smell of those flowers, so strong, it's vibrant. It swirls around you, wafting and floating in this place. So fragile and soft. But in this place, it's so quiet. It's so warm. That warmth. It's all around you. There's a surplus. 
It's not a luxury here. It's a staple. And it flows and ebbs. The puddle around you is like a bath in and of its own. You see the fireflies landing, landing on the flowers. Their little glowing bodies, silent. While the small crickets chirp and bound underneath the umbrella, the umbrella-like nature of these plants. You can feel how safe and content, how warm, careful, calming. How nurturing this place is. You just stay here for a while. Just stay here as long as you'd like, really. And maybe by now you've fallen asleep. Maybe you've drifted off, faded for just a little bit into a nice night's sleep. As you lay here, you feel all the success, the power, the satiation, this place is soothing, it annoys you to the pains, the sufferings that you've been through. Just for this time here with me right now, it is calm. It is so calm. In this brilliant place, you can just sit and relax, lay down, and enjoy the comfort of your favorite smell. With your favorite display of lights above you, the trickle of soothing water across your body. In a place like this, you might really Forget all of your problems. Forget all of your worries. You might even forget your name. But 
but that's okay. You'll have time to remember later on, but for now, just stay here. In this lovely spot. In this spot, you're as whole as you can get. This distant place where nothing can harm you. The air feels electric, electric with possibility. living and breathing.
There's so much energy. You can feel the currents running in the flowers, in the rain. The calmness, the quietness, the drifting nature. We feel the ocean slowly filling up behind us, underneath us. Pulling us back. It's a slow thing at first. We sink into the earth. Slowly. until we're surrounded by that water again. And we slip away back into the interstice, slowly, gently, the flowers fade, the rain, the fireflies, the crickets, We want to stay just a little bit longer. sinks back and that lovely place that solace fades and soon Soon it's gone.
on top of the ocean once again. We rise up, and our head bobs above the water, breaking the surface. As we start floating back, back to the beach. We close our eyes, breathe slowly, and a moment passes where we're not really sure where we are. Around us, unblurs. It comes back into existence, this place that we're in. In a single moment, we realize we've washed back up on the beach. covered in that warm water. And whenever we want to, whenever we're ready, we can take a deep breath in and climb back up onto our feet. Standing tall, Proud, regal, and strong. We reach down, pick up our bag, our thoughts, our luggage, and we're ready again to dry off and face the day. This has been our January 14th session of 2021. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Have a lovely day. Stay safe. Take care. And good night.